Don't forget this is Lube. Today we are looking at the Supreme Spring Summer 23 collabs. Now that the season is finally over, the Supreme Gods found it in their divine mercy to end this season. And so I thought I would look back on the collabs that came out this year, see if they were really as bad as you think it is, and just put together a little tier list to see. Uh, starting, I guess, in chronological order, I actually had to go back and reference a lot of these just because I was like, I was like, this came out this season, like it just seemed like so long ago and then overall there just seems like there are so few collabs in general but first we have the nike air bacon just take another closer look i mean um we just have a simple all white colorway and then this gradient colorway i don't hate the gradient colorway um i think this is an iconic model an interesting silhouette for you know nike supreme to collab on but what did supreme do they released an all white pair this gradient pair um i guess kind of references the og but, you know, and actually, fun fact, when this shoe originally came out, there was a big uh, controversy because this script that they were using on the back uh, looked like it spelled Allah, I believe. So there was a big, big little controversy about that. But overall, I think this is a C collab, um, a fun model, but, you know, you know, the collab is not really doing anything for, I don't think, anybody. So next we have the North Face. Now, this was a giant collection, um, which was unfortunate because it was pretty fucking bad. Um, but they, they kind of did this like sketch filter. It looks kind of like you first got Instagram and you wanted to use like the filters, um, like the one that made you look like you were a sketch. That looks like kind of what they're doing, which um, maybe. And then look at these completely hideous, like Oscar the Grouch esque uh, fleece sweatshirts, and of course the sweat shorts. And then oh. Oh, you wanted some innovation in your collab. Well, um, did you see that we took off the sleeves? Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's going to get you another C rating in the collab just because at least they used primary colors on the jackets and they're hard to, they're hard to, you know, not really, I don't dislike them, but come on. Um, so next was Undercover. Now, this is a shame because the previous Undercover collections are have always been my favorite but i think this one i mean so what was going i think there's a better picture of, of that piece so i i do really like these jackets they just weren't really my style white shirt i okay it looks like you just uh you fell in a puddle of mayonnaise and then this you know the short sleeve is okay and then we've got like the pants with the which people were you know unsure if it was going to be sold this way but then we kind of figured out that it was like this is actually like the piece so what they released here if you you know were <laughs> keeping up with the drop or, or saw my video but the uh so the flannel is actually attached sewn into the jean so you can't like do anything with this flannel like it doesn't snap in or zip in or anything it's just kind of there <laughs> so you know very very interesting design i mean it, it's 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 different uh, this is very different so very undercover i guess and you know trench um but yeah the layered jean oh so i okay so you can take it off i mean, misspoke there but you can't just wear the flannel if i recall correctly I, I didn't pick this piece up i thought it was interesting but um at least i tried something a little different here um i th you know some of these pieces are definitely um i like them they're more wearable they kind of have a little bit of undercover and supreme you can see they actually designed something with this collab i mean these are okay even though you know this could mean this could be saying anything it doesn't matter um undercover it's a b but usually undercover uh, i'm gonna put it in a just because of the quality of these collabs i think we're really not going to get any a's unless i put undercover there so let's, let's just go with that for now and now we have the doc martens which i originally passed on but you know um in hindsight, taking on a step back, I, I do really like this pair, and the reason I didn't have them was just because of what I already had in my collection, but, I mean, this, you could say, rip off of Blackstock and Weber, doesn't really matter, check the design, who cares, but um, the blues are also super nice, they've got this big lug sole, and the part that I really, my reason I didn't buy these, I already have the Adrian loafers, you know, the one that Tyler uh, popularized, and I've got, you know, th three other pairs of Doc Martens, so that's why I didn't really go out of my way to, to go and get these, but uh, this, I actually really like these, and I think I like how it can, it can add a little nice pop of color to your outfit, combining the design elements that you would get from, like, a horse bit with a tasseled loafer. 
So I, I do kind of like these. I think these are actually, you know, pretty, going for quite a bit on a stock X. So I, I do really like this, and I think, you know, as far as the season goes, maybe not overall. Like, if this was a regular season, this would be like a A collab, but I mean, I think overall, based on the tier that we have, I, I'm just going to go ahead and put him in S. Um, and really seeing all of the terrible collabs with the parent company another collab underneath the VF Corp umbrella but is is the Timberland collab and you know Timberland uh, well known for their baseball jerseys um, I think so not a single pair of boots to be seen in this collection just a regular pair this has got to be the most uninspired collab um, that I've seen in quite some time. It's literally just a logo on a jersey, a sweatshirt, and some sweatpants. So that's a D collab. Um, yeah, just simply basics if you didn't already have them. And Kuji, another collab that I think you know people have been asking for, have been rumored for quite some time. So I am glad that we finally got it. But again, just this, this collab was certainly not for me. I, th I think the jean jacket and um, what are they calling these basketball jerseys yeah so the basketball jerseys I mean they're decent everything here is decent just really wasn't for me and I thought they could have you know they they almost played it safe here like like look they did okay they did baggy jeans and they're embroidered in two pot I think they played it a little safe when you're playing with you know one of like the least safe brands like it's Gucci like it, it's loud it's it's baldacious they dropped the dewy uh, you know, so I think I just I wanted I wanted more. It's not a terrible collab, but for I think for all the time that we've been hearing about it, and in terms of what we actually got, this is a B collab because it, it let me down. And Clark's, do we really want to see these again? We've got the Ronnie McDonnies. Um, there is a regular white and a black pair, which you know weren't um, the the most abomination to God creation I've ever seen, but. Uh, uh, do I the, the Ronald McDonald's are F but at least they have the sand and the black pair put it in the C but below below the below the Nike and the in the uh, North Face collab here so now we have Bernadette Corp so this one actually this one kind of kind of did me in you know I think they had a lot that they could have done and then they did this instead so that <laughs> kind of disappointed me I mean okay more I mean you just did this with undercover um so, but yeah, I, you know, the designs, it's, it's an interesting collab. It's really not something that I could see really anybody wearing. This is more of like an art piece, which kind of makes, it makes a little bit of sense seeing the collab, but you know, unfortunately in terms of a tier list, um, it'll go into B, but below Kuji, I want to make Kuji A at this point, but I just don't want to give them that much credit. So now we've got the Vans, another, you know, VF Corp is really, really feasting here <laughs> with what they've done. And like the day and age of Jound, it's tough to, you know, you get, you get color on your Vans and people just don't like them anymore, but I think, I think it's B. I, I think, I think they're fine. There's nothing really, I think really wrong with them. Um, and then we've got uh, the Hardys collab. I'm taking a look at that for you guys, show you guys that one real quick, just to refresh. Um, I think, you know, this is probably the best kind of graphics they've done. Unironically, probably a better jersey than the Kuji one. Um, sweat shorts that I'll put, you know, right up there with Eric Emanuel. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I mean, I think these graphics are probably the best graphic tees that they've released. And they've even got a cool accessory. And, of course, classic state decks um, to go along with that. Complete that Hardy's collab. So I think that's an A collab. Probably put it behind under cover just for personal preference, but but yeah, I saw so this. I can't believe this is the only collabs that we've got. There were more collabs that were in the inline supreme, you know, like the regular preview, like you know, that they always have in there, like the Vans in leather, um, the Mitchell and Ness. But again, all of those I think would just go and see. I there was really nothing that caught my eye or was really going brazy. So, you know, let me know if you want to see a video where I go over maybe my favorite like five or ten items from this drop but otherwise you know hopefully looking forward to next year and we get uh, better collabs in the future let me know what i you know where you guys would have ranked these on your tier list and thanks for watching